Star Citizen keybinds were moved again. And at the time of recording, the key map legend is not updated yet. Welcome back, Alphas. In this video, you'll see some keybinds that have changed for Star Citizen Alpha 320. So hold position. This is intended to help you avoid the frustration of searching for the key bindings in the options menu whenever you're first logging into Star Citizen 3.20 for the first few times. You'll see a few keys that have moved with the new patch and some main keys that I had to rebind just to be able to fly with my dual sticks again. You might want to plan on investing some time rebinding keys or learning the new ones when you first log in to Star Citizen 3.20 Live because it's not really a jump right in and play kind of patch if you're a veteran of Star Citizen. Firstly, inner thought used to be hold F and right click. Now it's hold F and click both the left and right mouse buttons at the same time. So F plus both mouse buttons. Here I use inner thought to find the option to wipe my visor and then realize that I forgot it actually has its own key binding for it. Left alt plus X. So I didn't actually have to figure out how to use inner thought again. Flight ready has moved. It used to be R, now it's right alt R to power up all the systems on your ship or vehicle. My thrust forward and backwards quit working after the patch on my joysticks. I had to rebind it, but as you can see here, when you open up the options menu and you go to key bindings, advanced controls customization, and then switch tabs to joystick, you look for flight movement up near the top and then scroll down to the throttle settings. That's where the forward and reverse key binds are, like you see here, for joysticks. It's basically the sticks version of W and S on the keyboard and I have no idea how those most basic movement keys got rebound, but several org mates and I had to rebind those to be able to fly with our joysticks in Alpha 320. Oh, and if you ever reset everything and you find that your joysticks are reversed, then you can open console by tapping the tilde key, the squiggly line under the escape key on a QWERTY keyboard, and then type pp underscore resort devices, one word, space, joystick, space, one, space, two, enter, and then close console with tilde. And then that will swap your left and right joysticks in the game. Decoupled was not working on my joysticks after the patch, so I dug into the key bindings and I found that Cruise Control and Decoupled have been swapped. So now Decoupled is once again C, like Charlie. And since they moved it, it broke the key bind on my joystick. You can simply fix it by going into the options menu, key bindings, and right clicking to unbind that key, and then just rebind it to the same joystick button that you originally used. And then it works. Now, cruise control doesn't actually get pressed so easily because they moved it to left alt C, like Charlie. And check this out. Whenever you tap forwards or backwards or space break, it turns off cruise control like a real world car. Finally, I actually had to unbind cruise control from my joysticks because of how many times I was flying, going in for a landing, and I didn't realize that I accidentally tapped cruise control. And then I rammed port all... <clears throat> I can't talk about port... Port Alistar, okay? It's too soon. <clears throat> Give me a moment. To send out a scanning ping, instead of tapping tab, like in the previous patches, now you must long press V like Victor to send out a scanning ping. So long press V takes a little longer than just tab, but they wanted to use the tab key for other things. Hey, but if you want to just totally avoid having to figure out which keys to bind what to what, and you just want to download a profile that's already super optimized for dual sticks, check out Buzzkiller's profile help. He has profiles for Thrustmaster, Verpal, VKB. He's eons ahead of me on this stuff. He's a subscriber of the channel, he's been playing Star Citizen for many, many, many years, and he knows his stuff when it comes to joystick setups. So I'll drop a link in the description there if you're interested, and you know, maybe one day I'll save time and just finally switch over to his key bindings as well. And if you found this video helpful, share it to your favorite Discord, tap that like, then we'll know to make more tips, tricks, and bug workarounds. <laughs> I'm not going to Seraphim. I'm moving to New Babbage.